guys, this is Steve Teheran and welcome back sa ating basic C++ tutorial. So we are at part 6 today and we are tackling about switch statements. So probably this is one of the most shortest video in our series. So without further ado, tingnan natin yung ating agenda for today. So we are just going to do two things. Actually, we are just going to learn the switch statement syntax and then gagawa tayo ng numbers to man program using a switch statement. So, ayun. Ano nga ba ang switch statement? So, ang switch statement are like if-else statements. So, they are a conditional statement then. So, mas minsan may time na mas efficient gamitin si switch statement kaysa kay if-else. But, ang downside ni switch is they can only take an integer data type to compare. So, bawal kang gumamit ng string para i-compare gamit yung switch statement. So, kay if-else yun. Then, it consists of cases. So, mas madali kasi yung syntax ni switch statement kesa kay if-else pagka nakita nyo mamaya. So, ayan na. Let's go to our switch statement syntax. So, katulad nga na sinasabi ko, mas madali at mas efficient i-type yung code ni switch kesa kay if-else na maraming curly braces. So, ganito lang yung syntax niya. So, we have as the switch keyword and then we have parenthesis, partner. Tapos sa gitna nun is yung integer na kailangan natin i-compare. So, ikaw compare yung integer na ilalagay nyo dito, dito sa value na to. Di ba may mga cases? So, ito yung sinasabi kong it consists of cases. So, may tatlong case tayo and one default. Yung default na to is a nyo else dito sa switch statement. So, isipin nyo ito yung if, ito yung else if, ito yung isa pang else if, tapos ito yung default. Ito yung else niya. So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's just go to code blocks and let's look at what this switch statement does. So, ayan. Gagawin na natin agad yung numbers to month program natin. So, basically, ang gagawin na itong program na to is mag input ka ng number and then i-convert niya as a month. Kunwari, 1 is equivalent to January, 2 is equivalent to February, 3 is equivalent to March, and so on and so forth. So, ang um, first natin kailangan gawin is to declare an integer. So, sinabi ko nga, integer lang ang pwede nyo ilagay kay switch statement. So, int num, tapos manghihingi nga tayo ng number kay user. So, magsisi out muna tayo para i-integrate na manghihingi tayo. Enter in number. Okay? Tapos, Sin, tapos greater than sign, dalawa, tapos yung lalagyan natin ng value, which is yung num. So, integer yan. And then, eto na yung switch statement syntax natin. So, first, the switch keyword. Tapos, sa loob ng parenthesis natin, the number to compare or the integer to compare, which is yung num na hiningi natin kay user. And then, we have curly braces na magka-partner. Enter, enter, tapos sa gitna nito, yun na yung sinasabi nating cases. So, Parang ano lang yan. Parang mga, maraming possibility. So, this is case 1. Kung 1 yung number na nilagay, ito yung nagawin natin. So, okay. Let's do this. So, let's type case. Tapos, yung value, kung nari, case 1. So, yung num, kung nari, 1 siya, ito yung iraran niya, yung case 1. Then, enter. Tapos, dito, yung mga code natin gagawin pagka naging case 1 siya. So, see out. Palagay lang natin. It's January. Okay? Tapos, semicolon, that's break. So, ang break na yan, ini-indicate niya na tapos niya si case 1. So, parang yun yung termination niya instead of curly braces. So, eto naman, case 2 na tayo. Case 2, enter, see, out. It's February. Tapos, break ulit, and so on and so forth. So, gagawin ko muna to kasi medyo mahaba hanggang December. <laughs> So guys, I'm back. So ito na, na-type ko na lahat ng cases. So we have 12 cases in all from January to December. So ayan, tingnan nyo. So hanggang December siya, case 12. So if we run this, gagana na to. So let's run this. Let's wait for it to run. Ayan, so pinagpo-prompt tayo ng number. So if I put 5 here, enter, it's May. So January, February, March, April, May. So panglima siya. So, ganun yung case. So, mas madali siya kaysa sa maraming if tsaka else. Ito na lang. 
So, may mga time nga na mas efficient itong switch tignan ka sa kahit if else. So, kayo na mag decide kung kailan yun. So, what if nga sinabi ko 13, eh wala namang 13 or 0, wala namang 0. So, let's let's try that. So, nilagay ko 13, eh hanggang 12 yung case natin. Then, walang mangyayari. So, walang lumabas, di ba, right there. So, kaya may tinatawag na default case. So, we will add a default case sa pinakailalim. Enter, default, tapos colon. Tapos, ito yung parang else ni switch statement, as I mentioned before. See out, invalid input. Yan. Tapos, break then to indicate its end. Now, we have something to handle yung mas malaki kay 12 and mas maliit kay 1. So, if we run this and then we try to enter 13, and let's enter this, it will say invalid input. Kasi ayun yung default niya. So, pagka walang nagmatch dun sa mga nakalagay, it will run the default case. So, pagka 0 din, ganun din yan, invalid input. But, if we try and put 12, it's December. So, ayun guys, ganun lang kadaling gamitin na switch statement. I hope you understand something from me today. And ito muna ang ituturo ko sa inyo. And I will see you in the next video guys. Goodbye.